What's up? The glasses are on. Let's do some putting. The last I saw of your guys' vlogs, Marco made every single putt he looked at. Dude, the claw was working. <laughs> What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're here with Brendan from Be Better Golf. And what up? You guys know Mike. So we're gonna, what's this course called? Arroyo Tribuco. Arroyo Tribuco. Either, either Tribuco or Tribuco. This course is the home course of Michael Block, who is, uh, you guys have seen probably on the, the golf channel. He's won the PGA Championship, PGA, you know, whatever, Club Professional Championship, I think two times. And he's played like six times in, in that. So, a uh, little local legend around here. Yeah, the, the main thing I've heard about this course is that it's, it's very hard, but it also it keeps its fun factor high. So, you know, some courses are hard and just not fun at all. This supposed to, supposedly is hard, but still fun. So it's fair. Mm -hmm. it's and they took course. $20 off because the greens apparently are very, and they had a damage to them. So yeah, it, you guys might have seen some of the drone shots. The greens don't look as great, but uh, like Brandon just mentioned, kind of rough shape, but. We're gonna make the best out of it, have some fun out here, and uh, yeah. yep. who'd you bring out with you? You guys have seen Tyler on my channel before a couple times. Uh, Tyler's available to play. Somebody pray for me. It's been a day for me. So you'll probably see him more often. <laughs> and the way I play golf, I, it all happens at a moment's notice. So, and Tyler lives close to me. Tell him about yourself, Tyler. Uh, been playing golf for about six, seven years now. I'm, uh, at around an eight handicap, uh, trying to get out as much as I can, just, you know, trying to improve the game, you know. Yep. Awesome. I, it's a, Tyler's a former high-level baseball player. Let's play. Let's do it. Marco and Brendan, verse, on the front, versus uh, versus Tyler and Mike, Ryder Cup style, so like a match play. So we'll, we'll be representing the good guys. <laughs> and they'll be representing uh -oh. the <laughs> creeps. The baseball player. Baseball the players. creeps. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's the hole. 350 yards. We got bunkers on each side. The one on the right is pretty far out there. The front left one is reachable, but overall it's a pretty short hole straight ahead. Good way to ease us into this, this first hole out here. Mine a little bit long. Mike's on the dance floor. He's got like 15 feet. Brandon's on back of the green. Tyler's looking for his. So. Let's see if we can get up and down. Got ourselves a par four, 429 yards. Looks like it's a slight dog leg to the left and some bunkers right up there on the right, which come into play. intimidating hole. You look at the fairway and it's pretty big but there's so much trouble out here and if you miss the fairway you're pretty much in the crap because there's really no rough out here. But I survived. I kind of popped one up there. I'm on the left rough, the little that there is and uh, looks like I got pretty good ways in. <laughs> this is the hardest 
hardest hole in the course. Oh, is it? Yeah, not only, but yeah, because if you're a little off the fairway, you're in that scrub and it's like <laughs> thick grass there and your ball, you just will not find it. And uh, I heard a rattling, actually. There's rattlesnake signs everywhere and I heard a rattling. And if Instagram is any good indication, there's a lot of rattlesnakes out this year because like everybody's putting up pictures of rattlesnakes in golf courses. It's the last thing we need. The greens are bad, but as bad as they are, they seem like they could be better. Like, they could be rolled or cut shorter. Maybe they're just nervous about whatever happened. Yeah, they could definitely be rolled a couple times. Rolling that like a seven and a half. <laughs> that last hole beat us all up. I think Tyler was the only one to do decent and he made a bogey, so. A couple balls in the hazard and uh, yeah. No, so right here we got a par five, 562 yards. Dog leg left. Check that out. You can see kind of straight ahead, but then it looks like it just goes dead left. And I don't know how far the end of that fairway is, but looks uh, looks like we can pretty much go straight out. Nice ball. Snakes weren't enough. There's a, a mountain lion sound, a sign here, and he looks mad. This is like aggro mountain lion, based mountain lion. Mountain lions may be found in this area. And I was playing at a course in Corona, and we were standing on the tee like this, and like out of a movie, you I hear like, <laughs> like it sounded just like from a movie, and like over our shoulder, like over there, a mountain lion was like growling at a rabbit or something, and it was scary. We just left. Yeah. Awesome. Tyler's got 281. So it's Tyler and Mike to remind you guys, they're two up right now. So Marco and I are in trouble. Yeah, we got we a got lot of holes left. Just We're got a tight 18 hole match or nine hole match? 18, 18 hole match. 18. All right, good, good, good. Yeah. We got a lot For lunch. I'm so used to playing nine hole matches that it's like you get down, it's like <laughs> bad way quick. But uh, I'm there in a good spot. This actually is not a good lie. I think they're So Tyler, are you just, you just laying up here, bud? Yeah. Yeah. They're, it's they're pretty long. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We've experienced that already. <laughs> what do you got, Mikey? I got 260. A little bit downhill. So we're gonna do another uh, cart girl ambush. <laughs> uh, this is Lauren. Lauren works here at Arroyo Chibuco. Uh, uh, pronounce it for us. Arroyo Chibuco. Chibuco. <laughs> oh. I still can't say that right. Uh, all right, Lauren, are you a golfer? No, I'm not. Have you ever even hit a ball? Someone let me pop for them once. <laughs> That's, <cool. laughs> That's it. That's cool. So how do you like uh, being a car girl? I love it. It's fun. Yeah. You get to meet a lot of nice people? Yeah, I do actually. All right, cool. Um, what else do you guys want to know? What's the craziest thing you've seen out <laughs> yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Have you seen any mountain lions? We've seen the mountain lion sign. No, I haven't, okay. but a lot of the marshals have and they like take pictures. Oh, that's cool. Rattlesnakes, have you seen those? Yeah, all the time. Oh, gosh. So I actually saw one today. <laughs> Where? Which hole? Um, on the cart path between 14 and 13. Okay, and then did you see the bees on six? Yeah, I'm trying not to go near any bees today. Yeah, so there's a, there's a, there's a lot of dangerous animals <laughs> out here. Okay, so we'll see Lauren later. Thanks for okay. letting us talk to you. You guys sure. can see her here. So this is a crazy hole. The pin is down there. It's 196, 190 with slope. And uh, it's playing a little bit downwind, even though we can't feel it right here. Everything's been downwind so far. 
in this direction. So, gotta hit a good one here. We won that hole. Right uh, after it, let, let's, let me give you a little context here. Just a uh, nice slice of humble pie. <laughs> right after we hit those tee shots, Mike thought he would hit a leaner and said, man, lunch is gonna taste good or where do you wanna eat lunch or something like that. A team bogey for the creeps and a, and a nice win for the good guys. All right, this hole's 404 yards. A little bit of a dog leg to the left. You can see the green up there. But uh, downhill. So give us the breakdown on this hole. It's a pretty short one, but there's yeah, trouble. It's uh, definitely a, a layup hole. Uh, out of some maybe 180 yards out, and you have 100 yards in. Yep. Yeah, trouble, they, trouble they have, everywhere. Looks like they have like sand bottles out there to fix your divots, and I think you want to aim for those. Yeah. That's so yeah, I, well. really, on on the map, when I push the button, it looks like you want to hit like a 170, 165 shot. Really. So this hole says 265, but like they said, it's straight uphill and nothing but trouble up there. Here's what it looks like. Wide fairway right here, but one, the green is all the way up there and it looks like it gets incredibly narrow right there. So we're gonna lay it up and play smart. We're on six, I got 92 yards. We're one down as a team. This goes uphill and it looks like a, a thin green that runs kind of like this way, so you can be short right. We're up on the hill here, par five. Marco and I are now two down again, unfortunately. And then there's a bunker to the right and everything over there is garbage, you don't want that. It's a par five and you want to hit it to the left. There's some bushes I think which are be a good aiming point.
Marco! Nice up and down. All right, this holds 350 yards. Dog leg to the right. You can see the people out there. That's a pretty good landing area where that cart is. But the hole goes straight over here, and uh, it's uh, I can't even see the pin from right here. What do you got here? Uh, 93, 96, a little side wind, and I hit my 60. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You can see the rest of this, the thrilling conclusion of our amazing comeback in part two, which is uh, over on the Gophaholics channel. There's a link for it in the description, so check it out there. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Also, click like and subscribe and everything else, and see you next time.